Now over the years, I've created dozens of ways of linking things. It's kind of like an obsession. And rings is my most practical, effective, and by far favorite way. Well, if this isn't the best souvenir to give out to your loving spectators, poke me in the eye and call me Deborah. G'day champion, how are you? Welcome back to Murphy's Magic Stumped. My name of course is Bo Creamer. Thank you so much for joining me today. Now when this effect first come across my desk, I absolutely fell in love with it. Not because of the handsome man, Ben Williams, although to be honest, that was one of its contributing factors, but rings was an awesome way to give out a perfect souvenir for your spectators. So today we're going to do a deep dive into everything that you need to know about Rings by Ben Williams. Now for those playing along at home on screen right now, just here is a list of contents so you can skip to certain parts in the video if you don't want to hear me yapping on about something else. Editor boy, you put it on over here, didn't you? You cheeky boy. But before we get into today's episode, I do want to tell you about this week's giveaway. If you want a chance to win the souvenir bundle, Stick around till later on in the episode and I'll show you how to enter that giveaway. Now, my dearest of dearest friends, let's get straight into it with a full performance of Rings by Ben Williams. A square. A it's an earring. It's an earring. Oh. 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 You do get it. There you go. See, I knew that. <laughs> See, with that, with the playing cards, you get, you get a set. With this one, you got a perch on your ear. It looks a bit silly, but I swear, if you go on TikTok nowadays, all the cool kids are doing it. It's trending. It's trending. You're lying. <laughs> I know no cool. <laughs> See here, I'm gonna um, we're gonna make it better, make it more unique. Are you um, have you got my pen? Have we got the pen? I got the pen. Pen here. Now the pen. 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 Right. Uh, James, can you sign the blue one here? Why, right, James? Got it. It's not in your bowl. Perfect. <laughs> and Haley, can you sign the the small one just there? <laughs> Perfect. Alright, now, thank you. Here's what we do. It's we take two pieces. Yes. Exactly. Hayley, can you hold it up? Place the pieces on your hand. James, place the hand on top. Alright. Hayley, can watching. you stand up? Then we'll get the dress on. Perfect. Look into each other's eyes. Alright. Repeat after me. Come a little bit closer. Something weird is happening between your hands. James, lift your hand up. If we take the pieces, you can now see that the pieces. Oh. Oh. That was that very James. clever. That, that is you two together. <laughs> it's all magnets. It's all magnets. It's all. What a gorgeous souvenir for your spectators. Now let's get straight into it with what do you get inside the box? When you receive rings by Ben Williams, what do you find inside? Well, nothing, my friend. It's a digital download. So it goes straight to your inbox 
ready for your viewing pleasure. But inside that little email is an awesome tutorial, which we'll go over more in just a second. Now, if that's answered all your wildest dreams of questions and you don't want to know anything else, you just want to know how much rings is, well, there'll be a link in the description below right now, my friend, where you can pick it up for $21.95. Now, if you are a little bit more curious and you want to know the skill level to perform rings, well, my friend, you need a skill level of an intermediate magician to perform this effect. There's one little sneaky sleight of hand technique in this routine, but you could actually perform this as a beginner level magician. Ben actually goes over a few other handlings on to do this. So you could be a beginner magician up to an intermediate. That's a lot of confusing talk. I hope that made sense. But you also could be a beginner. I'll, I'll, I'll stop. I'll stop. Now, what's the tutorial like? What's it look like when you watch it at home? Well, what you're seeing on screen right now is exactly how it looks. Everything is crystal clear and easy to understand. And it's shot in Ben's own personal kitchen. So you can see what that bad boy is cooking up. There's a one camera angle shot, but don't worry, you don't need multiple camera angles for this. You follow along with 100% certainty that you're never going to miss what Ben is doing in his hot little hands. Now onto that gimmick itself. What's that like? Well, my friend, let's go over to that gimmick in some detail and some more detail later on the examinability. But I'm just going to say this gimmick is as good as you can make it because you will be making the gimmick yourself. Now, the gimmick does take about three to four minutes, depending on your skill level, but you can make it on the fly. Say if you're at a gig and you go, oh, I really want to perform this. You can build it on the fly with literally a playing card and two other things. Two other things. Doesn't get any better than that. Now, if gimmick building isn't your thing and you're a little bit worried about it, don't worry. The gimmick is insanely easy to build. I love to build gimmicks myself and was a little bit cautious on how Ben would do this. I was absolutely blown away with the method behind building this gimmick. So clever, so clean. And I'm just going to go into the examinability here just a little bit, but the way he builds it, it is 100% examinable. Oh, baby. Now, I'm sure you already know who will be performing this effect rings. That's why you're here. But if you want to like dabble in some other lines of work and you want to know who will also be performing this, well, this is built for corporate walk around magicians. This is absolutely begging and perfect for those magicians at weddings or hired to do other special events. This obviously would also work well for social media or TV magic and even parlor situations. Now for stage, that could work or maybe not. It depends. I would want to use a camera so you can have a good close up of those linking rings on a big screen somewhere. But yes, this would be perfect and the bread and butter for close up walk around scenarios. Now let's take a break from the breakdown for just a wee second because I want to find out who won last episode's bundle. So ring please. Oh, hey, that's a coincidence. Hey, what's up? Yeah, nah, I'm just shooting a video. Yeah, nah, nah, mate. What? Oh, mate. Yeah, nah, I've got time. Five minutes later. Yeah, nah, you take care, you cheeky devil. I'll see you later. Bye. Congratulations, champion. You're the winner of last episode's bundle. So if you could DM me on any of Murphy's socials, I'll get that prize out to you quicker. You can say, hey, was Evan really calling you then? Or was that extremely awesome acting? I shall win the Academy Award. Now, my friends, if you want a chance to win this episode's bundle, all you need to do is comment below, where would you perform this? Would you perform this at a wedding, a bar mitzvah, a birthday party, your granny's house? Let me know in the comment section below where you would perform Rings by Ben Williams, and then I will choose someone out at random and be announced in the next episode. So good luck. Also, if you haven't checked out last week's episode of Stumped, make sure you do card on screen right now. It's where I go over absolutely everything you need to know about this incredible piece of magic. For those curious about Ben's other release, OCL, what is the difference between these two releases? Well, as extremely delicious as OCL is, it does have some certain limitations. So this is where Ring comes in and clears all of that up. Now onto the tutorial itself, what do you actually learn? Well, everything kicks off with an introduction from Ben himself and then into two full performances. The performance you saw just earlier where he does it to a couple at a wedding and then a performance straight to camera. Then into an additional handling where there's a visual link of those cards oof, going together for all those magicians that love that visual tasty goodness. Then everything follows up with more additional handlings of that secret move that I kind of hinted at earlier on in the episode. And then everything winds up with an outro from Ben. 
Now more onto the examinability of the rings gimmick. Is it 100% examinable? Well, yes, it is. Like I mentioned before, the way Ben built this is insanely beautifully built. Uh, you can definitely hand it out to the spectators, have them touch it, take it home, do whatever they want with it. They're never gonna find a thing. This is that perfect souvenir for them to take home and show their friends and be a complete awe and wonder every time they look at it for the rest of their lives. Now onto those pesky angles. Are there angles okay? Can you perform this 360 degrees surround it? Yes, I would say, yeah, absolutely. There is one sneaky move, like I mentioned, that Ben does that can be performed 360 degrees surrounded, but depending on how you perform this move, it could depend on your skill level, but there are also 100% ways that you can do this sneaky move 360 degrees surrounded. So yes, so yes, it can be performed 360 degrees surrounded. I'm trying to give you enough information here without giving you too much information because we don't want to be this guy. Plus everything happens in the spectator's hands so it doesn't get any better than that. Now let's wrap this up into a nice little package. Let's summarize this episode up into like 30 seconds. If you're the type of magician that loves performing magic that is meaningful for your spectators, you might want to check out rings. If you're a type of magician that loves performing magic that culminates in creating an impossible object that can be left with your spectators as a keepsake for them to take home, then you too may want to check out Rings also. Rings is how Ben performs a linking card routine where his spectators can keep the signed linked rings as a souvenir. If you see a pair of linked rings, you don't need to see the performance of the effect to see what is exactly impossible. It's like a sealed deck of cards in a glass bottle. It just looks impossible. Now, it's not only just super practical to perform, but also to create. Because you know at the end of the performance, you are guaranteed to be able to leave your spectators with a perfect set of signed linked rings every single time. So forget anniversary waltz, there's a new kid in town. Now, if you want to see more on rings by Ben Williams, there's a link in the description below right now where you can pick it up for $21.95 and you need a skill level of an intermediate magician to do it. Now, my friends, if you do have any questions on anything you've seen in this episode, please throw them down in the comment section below, but make sure you use the hashtag question time so I can find them amongst all the competition entries. Now, I know you're incredibly, insanely busy about to build 150,000 rings yourself, so I will let you get back to your Tuesday. I'll see you on Wednesday for a What's New This Week, on Saturday for our Saturday Sorcery, or on our Discord for our weekly jams, trivia, games, hangouts, and even more. Now take care, my friend. See you later. Bye for now. Whoa, hey, whoa, what's that? Oh, you should definitely check out that. Oh, there's so much good magic in there. You won't regret it. Hey, whoa, hey, look at this bad boy. You should definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe, then watch that. Oh, it's a good day to treat yourself.